Adam, Gary, welcome. Gary, to you first. Why is branding so important when particularly marketing budgets are at risk or being cut? Yeah. As CMO US Hygiene at Reckitt, I mean, I can't say enough about branding. I'm a brand guy at heart, and it's who I am. And you need to build brands. I mean, Lysol is one of our top brands. is the number one disinfection brand in, in the US. And you only get to be that because you've built brand mental availability in the disinfection space over time. Throughout COVID, we invested in the brand. Now we're continuing to invest in the brand. It's how people simplify their decision making and brands are important and matter for that reason. So give me some examples, Adam. What are some best branding practices that you're seeing uh, at the moment? Yeah, I mean, look, I, I'll, I'll point to something that's perhaps not a branding practice. I'll defer to my friend here to talk about the, the best branding practices. Um, the Just the importance of measurement, full stop, and really being integrated with your measurement across your business. I think the best in class, the best in class example right now that we continue to advocate and work with our partners for um, are around learning agendas and the importance of experimentation. You know, so many times the, the data that we get back on marketing, if we're relying on our MMMs is dated and it's not current. And experimentation gives us that view into what's happening now. And consumers are nimble. Media continues to change. Um, and, and as a result of that, having a healthy um, and robust uh, appetite for experimentation. And literally, this is one of those things where it's almost the more, the better. You start to see that it's like 15 or more experiments are really what get you to the best results and the most impact. So best in class work for us really is about measuring effectively and thinking about the importance of experimentation. Mm -hmm. I mean, for me, it's about the, the, the marriage of the data is our friend and we need all the measurement in the world and we need all the data to drive insights as well. You need the product efficacy from a consumer packaged goods standpoint that you're delivering in the world and you need to know why you're existing in the world and product plus your purpose in the world. If I think about Lysol and breaking the chain of infection as our higher order purpose, we only do that through the benefit of our product. Now, how we tell our stories, how we connect with the right audiences and consumers, leverage data and tech um, is, is, is our friend to do that and get that message out in the world. Gary, lots of challenges at the moment, but you are a branding guy, you're super excited, so I imagine there's lots you're looking forward to in the future. Yeah. You know, for me, um, I, I am really excited about um, what all the changes in marketing mean in terms of org design. I've recently set up a new org design where I'm breaking down our own silos to better connect with people in the world so that the full funnel uh, media investment strategies, whether it's upper funnel, which is so critical to building brands health for the long term or performance driven marketing and retail media are connected and that, that we're thinking about the investment strategy across the funnel. And that, that that's exciting because we're breaking down on silos to, to deliver better ROI um, and deliver better brand experiences for our consumers. Yeah, I think one of the things that we're particularly excited about right now is just the impact that, you know, I'm sure down the row here, everyone's talking about this, some, something in common is AI. And I think that the role that predictive AI is already playing in terms of really helping our partners generate results right now, over 80% of our partners on Google are using some form of predictive AI, and it's truly making a difference in terms of outcomes. And then there's the generative side. Um, you know, as people continue to take in content in so many different places, how do we utilize generative AI responsibly in order to deliver those outcomes as well and ensure we have great messages to deliver to consumers regardless of where they are? Adam Gary, really insightful and absolute pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you.